<laughs> Oops. Thank you, everyone, and please welcome Zoe from Fela. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, the mic was on already while I was behind the, the screen here. <laughs> cool. Hello, everyone, and welcome back after your short uh, coffee break. Um, yeah, we are going to talk about Fala World today, or I specifically, but everyone in the room that wants to engage in the conversation as well. Um, I am Zoe, I lead European Growth and BizDev for Fala Network. And Fala Network actually provides a decentralized computation cloud, and we are parachain on Kusama, and also have our parachain slot is secured on the Polkadot um, chain. Um, today, however, I want to talk about Fala World, which is one of the biggest use cases that we are building on our decentralized cloud um, yeah, today. And who of you guys knows this movie? Oh, not too many. Okay. <laughs> not too many science fiction lovers here in the room. Okay. This is The Enders Game, a very, very cool science fiction movie. And if you have not watched it, um, I encourage you to, to have a look because it's a very, very cool um, yeah, science fiction movie. But it has um, yeah, actually a very deep, deep story behind it. And uh, for everyone that has not watched the movie, it's actually about a group of kids that get, that get trained to go um, to space and actually um, yeah, fight against aliens and like other, other creatures to protect Mother Earth. Um, but the interesting thing is how this happens is that these kids are trained in a game. So they are going to play games to become a soldier, to um, learn how to fight and how to protect everyone. And obviously for kids, they love to play games, right? So it's very easy for them to get excited about the game, to get addicted to it even, and to forget everything around them and to only focus on this one goal to actually win the war. Um, there's, but there's more behind it, because it's not only getting trained, it's also being in this specific culture as a kid and really getting trained to focus on one goal and being not distracted by other things in the um, yeah, in world, um, actually really motivates you and brings the best potential, like your best skills um, from every user or every um, participant in this, in this uh, program. And this is Andrew, actually. He's, he became the leader of, the, of this program. And uh, the special thing about him is that he was more an introvert, actually, in the beginning. But he started to become a leader because he was very, very good at the game that he was playing. And um, he actually leveled up. He increased his skill set. He grew his character. And then, in the end, actually became the leader of um, the group of the kids group and also was winning the war with his uh, team. And this movie actually inspired us at Fala Network to create Fala World. So what we do at Fala World, we actually create a game experience for you as a user to, to, to contribute to our network, Fala Network, or any other blockchain in the future. So we thought, OK, if we can inspire people with the game, and everyone loves to play games or have everything a bit more fun and engaging, we can do the same for our contribution to the network. And very important for us is that we not only play, uh, create this game experience, we also create a unique culture. We want people to really get engaged into the network, to yeah, celebrate Fala Network to get, and Fala World specifically, um, to get motivated and actually grow their own character on the network. So by now we have already users, of course, in the network, but we give the opportunity for everyone to create their own avatar and a digital representation of their skill set and the different attributes that they actually provide to the network. Yeah, taking a step back, um, also looking on the user experience, right? Not only creating games and like, um, putting everything more in a gamified experience, we also look at the user experience and the user interface. And I think a lot of you guys are familiar with this uh, evolution table here, from yeah, BTC clients to MetaMask and then to smart wallets. But we are now in a time where we are building metaverses and new game experiences. And um, we don't only have to create these things on an infrastructure level, but we only have, also have to see how 
does the experience change for the user? And what can we actually do to increase this experience to make people really use what we are building and not going back to just like a 2D or like a very pixel game and like other people building metaverses at the moment. So we at Fala also took it as an experience or as a challenge to create very high level and advanced um, designs and visuals for Fala World. Okay, Fala World, Fala World. What is Fala World actually, to put it simply together? Um, Fala World is actually a digital representation of your progression as well as contribution to the Fala network. So, as I explained, we have users, we are all living in a digital world already, right? So, we use on-chain activities, we contribute to a network, and we also live in a digital world where we tweet, where we use Discord, where we use GitHub, and everything actually online. And we at Fala, world, or at Fala Network said, okay, um, the contribution to the network should be, first of all, gamified, but it also should represent you as a character online, so your digital representation, where you can actually create your, your own avatar. So what we do in Fala World, we actually collect your on-chain activity, so your contribution to the network, um, if you vote, if you contribute in the, or actively engage in the governance, if you are running a worker node, so Fala Network provides a decentralized computation, cl computation cloud, so the most important value of our network are the the compute, it's the compute power, right? So everyone that runs a worker node is um, also contributing to the, net, to the network. If you're delegating, if you own a lot of FAR token, actually put them to the worker. Um, but also, again, if you tweet of, uh, about Fala Network, if you contribute to our GitHub, if you engage in our um, Discord community, this is all information that builds your own character in Fala World. And we collect this information, and based on this information, we create your character that you then actually can play or extend in Fala World with. So important to understand is that we have two phases in Fala World. We have launched uh, the first phase of Fala World, and um, there it's all about like your personal growth, what I just explained, right? Collecting this information. Um, based on this information, we create attributes. So you have an intelligence, a strength, different willpower. And um, it's all about your personal growth, actually. So you want to grow your own character. In phase two, we are um, envisioned to, to create our own game. So we are not there yet. And uh, honestly, we don't know yet what type of game it will be, what is the best, the best time, RPG or strategy game. Um, however, it will be a real game. Um, and then it will be also implemented in the fitting metaverse. And in phase two, it's also more about the collaboration. So you want to interact with your team members, you want to interact with other actors actually in Fala world. Yeah, to get more creative, we have uh, rewritten a whole story. And actually, Marvin, our co-founder, is a big science fiction uh, fan. If you guys know him, you definitely know that he loves to write and uh, got very inspired to write also here about Fala world. However, it's definitely a, contrib uh, a community com contribution, Fala World, the whole story about it. Um, don't want to go into depth into this, you can read everything up. But um, yeah, just giving you the idea that we really rewrote um, the whole Web3 movement. What does it mean to build in Web3? Um, what is our white paper about in Fala Network? And everything that we have created so far, we wanted to rewrite and um, yeah, put into a, new, into a new story. <laughs> so, we don't know yet what time of game it will be, but we know the mechanism that we want to bring into the game. And most of you might have heard about play to earn or play and earn, but how many of you have heard about play to build? Okay, <laughs> yeah, the Fala community knows about it. <laughs> cool. Um, no worries. I mean, we just came up with this actually, play to build, or not came up, but this is a new, new concept that we want to implement. Um, and the difference here is actually that it's not only that you're playing and earning, or you play while you earn, or earn while you play, or however you want to put it. It's actually you play and you build. So you play, and while you're playing, you contribute to the network. Again, our vision is to actually engage the community. The community is already using our blockchain, is already using our social medias, but how can we make them motivated to actually contribute and continuously contribute and actually um, use the network? 
So play to build is the mechanism that uh, is being implemented in our game. Um, and yeah, in the game itself, it will also be then more visualized how you actually can play and build, um, expand actually the network itself. These are just some visuals. This is not our graphics right now. These are just some, uh, yeah, DeFi Kingdom pictures here. But just so you get an overview of how this actually looks, what I'm talking about. Um, if you want to do a crypto trade, right, or you want to as, uh, manage some of your assets, you actually go into an interface and you can have like a face-to-face -face swap or transfer your assets directly to the person you want to transfer to. Governance. We all use Polka Assembly at the moment or Subsquare or whatever governance tool you're using. It's very boring, right? <laughs> I mean, it's not a nice user interface and user experience. We can imagine something like this. So you come together, the council, you go into the game, you open your map, you say, okay, I want to participate in the governance. You take a seat at the council or in the community, and then you actually vote and discuss on the proposals that are on chain. Or for example, delegating or running a worker node. I just explained the biggest value in our network, right, to actually provide the cloud is that we have worker nodes. And we have a lot of people that run these nodes. We have a lot of token holders that want to uh, put their tokens to work. And they will just walk around then. We have our Fala app here in the background that is currently being used. Um, but again, in the game, you will just walk around and find like a yeah, worker miner. Can you, you can put your tokens on there and actually experience everything in a much more fun way. What would a game without a cool NFT system, right? <laughs> um, this is actually a part I'm very excited about. Um, not only because we implement a very, very new concept, but also because we partner with one of our, um, yeah, we partner with a partner from the ecosystem, um, with the Remark team, actually. Any one of you guys heard about Soulbound NFTs? Okay, now I get the interaction, that's good. <laughs> so, we are actually the first use case I know for sure in the Polkadot ecosystem, I don't know outside of it, to, uh, I, I, I ask around, but I haven't heard too many people actually implementing it, that uses the Sobound concept. And not only the Sobound concept that Vitalik uh, talked about early this year, we are actually implementing Sobound 2.0. And this is based because we're using the NFT 2.0 um, palette and concept from Remark. So we are working closely with Bruno and his amazing team to implement uh, Sobound 2.0. Which means that we have an NFT concept where you have your own NFT that is not transferable. And again, this non-transferable NFT is based on your progression and your community contribution to the network. And that's why it's always tied to your identity and it's not transferable. Um, we call it the spirit NFT and that's actually how it looks like. Um, the spirit NFT is currently free to claim. Everyone in the network can claim the spirit NFT. Um, Again, for free, the shell NFT then afterwards needs to be uh, purchased actually with some FAR token. For everyone that's more interested about the comparison, so about token 1 and 2.0, um, they have similarities, right? As it says here, they're both non-transferable and they're always tied to your personal reputation. So it's always about what are you doing, what are you contributing. It's, not, it's always about your specific individual yeah, reputation. However, there are big differences, and that's why we needed to choose Soulbound 2.0, the concept that we are developing com uh, together with the Remark team, is that it's um, composable. So you actually have your non-transferable NFT, and you have NFTs um, that are transferable. So you will see this in, uh, uh, in a visual, uh, visualized way in a bit. Um, but also that we have uh, the multi-data, right? I explained before, we connect on-chain, off-chain data, several of your contacts, uh, several of your wallets, everything together. In SoBound 1, it would be only metadata. So it's not evolvable, it's not changeable, and you cannot connect several of your wallets or um, accounts, actually. And again, also the upgradability. We, in Fala World, want to motivate the people to contribute, to interact, to grow. Right? You don't want to be just uh, heard the amazing speech uh, about, leadership, about leadership. Everyone wants to grow in their team. They want to grow in the community. So if the NFT is not able to 
to, up to be upgradable, what do you want to do with it, right, in several years? You want to contribute to it, you want to show your, uh, your skills, your power, and with this you need an upgradable NFT um, system. I talked a little bit about attributes as well. Um, this is just an overview. So I mentioned if you have a lot of um, uh, FAR token that you stake, if you contribute a lot to our GitHub uh, repo, if you um, yeah, interact uh, on chain on on chain governance, these actions all flow into the attributes. And this is how we actually create your avatar and the strength and the different careers that we will talk about in a bit um, in Fala world. And now we have a cool video, and I hope this works. We practiced this a little bit in the break. Yeah, cool. So this is now actually a demo. Um, this is what's uh, available today already, um, how to claim your spirit NFT. So here you see the interface of Litentree, another partner that we work with, to actually integrate MCP, it's called My Crypto Profile, where you connect all your different accounts, as you just saw, Polkadot.js, Kala account, Discord, and so on. This was a bit quick, but <laughs> when you then upload it, you actually see on the right side here your personal attributes and the strength, intelligence, and willpower will increase based on what accounts you have actually connected to this um, Spirit NFT. Correct. Dexterity and the strength were now, um, now increased. And this is also um, shows that you can, again, always contribute further, right? If you don't have too much intelligence, means that you maybe don't run a worker node in our network. If you want to become stronger in the game, you want to maybe think about to set up a worker node or contribute more to the GitHub and so on. So there's always room for improvement. Yeah, just a short overview again, how this actually looks in the interface. And uh, based on these attributes that, that you just saw that actually evolve, um, you can then afterwards choose a career. And these careers are pretty cool because it's, um, it's based on these attributes that say, yeah, you have a lot of intelligence or willpower, you will maybe um, be a hardware root or something like this. So the, 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 the algorithm in the back actually provides you um, yeah, the best fitting career doesn't mean that you have to choose this career because, again, you can grow, right? And you can say, no, maybe I take a lower career to then have more possibility to grow and add to my skill set in future. And now we have another video that actually shows the different species. And what's special about this is actually that you see these beautiful designs, right? So we put a lot of work and a lot of love into designing um, these species, and again, as I said in the intro of my talk, it's not only about the experience and the game experience, it's also about what you're seeing, right? What you're buying here as an NFT and how cool this actually looks to, um, to own and then to increase uh, based on your skill set. And I think we have one more video. Yeah, <laughs> this is now actually the process how, um, and this is all live, so you can go on fala.world and experience all of this. Um, this is now how you would actually choose one of your species. So we have four different species, five dif different careers that you can choose from. Um, and then you actually choose different attributes. You can choose the different size. As you see, all the species, uh, the NFT always changes and adjusts. And we also have, I think, three different um, rarities of all of these uh, four different species. Yeah, so again, the Spirit NFT is free to claim. This is connected to your attributes. The Shell NFT is what you see here. This uh, is launching soon, and uh, we are building the marketplace for it right now. And these Spirit NFTs are then um, need to be purchased with your FAR token. Cool. Now we have seen everything from the nice uh, interface and how it looks uh, from the front end. Um, just to give you an overview of how it looks in the back end, actually. Um, we do have the on-chain and the off-chain activities that we explained before. Therefore, we use Litentree as an integration. They yeah, uh, do everything via their MCP. Important to notice is here that we actually completely customize their, uh, their MCP product for, for Fala World. Um, and there are many more integrations to, to come. Um, if you go, if you try out fala.world, 
um, and then actually go in through this whole process to claim your spirit NFT, you see what kind of accounts are currently able to connect. And again, we are evolving and want to um, even uh, integrate many more, many more accounts to this. So um, these, uh, yeah, these identities then connect into your spirit NFT. It's a soulbound token, as I explained before. Then you're able to claim your shell NFT, which is not a soulbound token, so it's transferable and tradable. And uh, be, uh, we, buy, we are building the marketplace for it right now. And then you have the seal NFT, which actually is a soulbound token um, on top of the spirit and the shell NFT. So this is our soulbound token 2.0 infrastructure. And then we have on the lower side here our Web3 minigame in the metaverse, which means that we actually put this infrastructure, as I said in the beginning as well, into a fitting metaverse. So Fala World is not a metaverse, but we are building the infrastructure to be actually put uh, for a mini game to be put into a metaverse. So some of you guys also might have heard about CypherMod already. And uh, this is actually what we revealed, um, I think at Blockdown this year. Um, at the conference, and it, this is actually the infrastructure that Fala World is hosted on. So I told you Fala World, um, Fala Network and Remark, we are working closely together to build the Soulbound uh, 2.0 system. We have integrated successfully in Fala World, and by working together, we actually realized, hey, we can make a whole SDK out of this, and we can actually help people to spin up these kind of mini games that we are building for Fala World to build this for their own world. Um, Marvin and Bruno then came up with the idea to yeah, call this the SDK, uh, the uh, CypherMod SDK, and we call it now actually the substrate for metaverses. So if you want to learn more about this uh, project as well, happy to talk about it afterwards. And um, yeah, if, if, as you can see here, um, our vision is actually to build these type of mini games and game experiences for any chain or any ecosystem they are interested in. Fala World, we can imagine a Polkadot, Kusama World, right? But even a Solana world, if you want. Um, and like even for brands, right? Maybe brands that are not in the Web3 space yet, but they want to have a more gamified and uh, nice experience for their users. Hoon said we should not talk about roadmaps, and I think I know this is always a critical topic, but I want to give you guys a bit more an overview of where we are, what we have done, and where we are actually going. Um, so, yeah, time timelines are always a bit critical. However, we are currently here in the NFT launch, in June, July 2020. Um, Spirit NFT, as I said, is ready to claim. Um, the next step is that we are launching our, our uh, marketplace, and then the Shell NFT is able to, um, yeah, you're able to actually purchase your Shell NFT. The next steps are that we launch CypherMod in the beta version, and then I have this play blockchain like a game, right? This um, play, to, play to build uh, mechanism actually integrated and then um, our first Fala World experience should be launched. Again, we started the first phase, but Fala World as a game is still in development. So if you're interested to come and save the broken world together, um, I'm happy to take one question or two, and otherwise you can speak um, yeah, outside. Happy to connect. Thank you. <laughs>